World Tour. From Evansville, Indiana, this is the Budweiser Thunder on the Ohio. Brought to you by Champion, makers of Copper Plus, America's best spark plug. This is stop number four in the 1986 Unlimited Hydroplane racing season. We're in Evansville, Indiana, and that is the last stop before we hit the West Coast, Tri-Cities in Seattle. But now that we are well into the season, national points become ever so critical, and we have the man next to me who is the national point leader. By 600 points, Jim Cropfeld in the Miss Budweiser. James, it's getting tight now, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting tighter with all the problems we've had on the Budweiser turbine here. Uh, Gearbox is going bad, and and not finding the right propeller, uh, Chip's kind of catching up with us a little bit. That being Chip Hanauer. Now, you worked on the gearboxes, the crew, over the past couple of days. Is everything taken care of? It seems fine. I went out twice this morning, and uh, I thrashed it pretty hard, and I couldn't hurt anything, so Good. I think they did a perfect job. Well, your old buddy, uh, Jack Schaefer, just qualified, I believe, in the Freedom Festival. Jim, uh, Jim Henrik is down there now. Let's see what happened. the last minute, I mean the last minute, the U15 Miss Liberty with Jack Shaver qualified right on the nose of 105. Three attempts. You came back in, they said a 104.5. I heard you say, let go of the lines. I'm going for it again. Well, you didn't see the whip they had in their hand, and I figured I didn't want to come back unqualified, so we went out back out and drove it hard, and these guys have worked their rear ends off. Oh, yeah, Cooper, and, and, and of course, the grammar here. Listen, you got this guy was cheery-eyed when you made it. Yeah, you're right about that. Who wouldn't be? Okay, happy news from this Liberty Camp. Now let's take a look at Heat 1A. And the rundown is the old boy Alberta with George Johnson, who likewise qualified just before race time this morning, 107.271. The Risley's Express with Todd Yarling out of Madison, likewise 107.946. The Budweiser with Jim Cropfeld at 115.2. And the Miller American with Chip Hanauer at 132.4. And that's the way they stack up for Heat 1A. Now, Don, how about Heat 1B? All right, Jim, let's take a look at Heat 1B in Thunder on the Ohio 8. And as we said just a few minutes ago, the Freedom Festival with Jack Schaefer qualified at 105.4. Next, the Holson Miss Madison with one of the best drivers around, Ron Snyder, qualifying at 111.7. The U2, Joe Ritchie, Spirit of America, Tom Deeth out of Detroit, qualifying at 116.4. Ran very well this morning, by the way. And the top qualifier in Heat 1B, the Miss 711 running very well with driver Steve Reynolds at 130.3 miles per hour. Our eight-boat field is set. Thunder on the Ohio is ready to begin. And we'll have Heat 1A for you right after this commercial timeout. <laughs> 